All right. We are live. Yeah. It's just launching. I don't know if it's capturing this part. Maybe it is. It sure is. So we're live there, Aaron. Well, good morning, Wes. So good morning, Aaron. A little bit earlier there for you. <laughs> the West Coast. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm excited to, I always love starting my day with a meditation, um, especially I wake up with a lot of tension usually. So it's the best way to, you know, supplement my coffee in the morning. I like that. Supplement your coffee. I love that. <laughs> um, yes, you're absolutely right. <laughs> Good timing. Good uh, product placement right there. Um, Les, we're, we're really happy to have you here. Um, your voice is incredibly soothing and you just have this really healing uh, energy about you as anyone who knows who's kind of been through any of your guided meditations. We are kickstarting this series for the Remedy community um, where we'll have people like yourself coming on to help people really stay on track with their practices mm. um, and make any changes necessary to make it more effective and work better for them. Um, right. so stay on for about 10 minutes afterwards to do a Q&A for any questions that come up. Um, and I'm excited to, to kick this off with you. Do That's you want to say anything before you start? Yeah, I think, um, you know, with any meditation, you know, bring an attitude of curiosity, acceptance, and non judgment. So, yeah, let's do this. All right. Take it away whenever you're All right. There you go. Hey, good morning, everyone, and uh, afternoon, depending on where you are. So, let's do a meditation called a labeling. This is something you may be familiar with. It's about labeling what shows up, not to get rid of it, but just to be able to say, I hear you, see you, feel you, and I'm meditating now. So it's a nice way to be compassionate and to let go of what the mind surfaces, to not be hooked by it, but to actually unhook from it. So through the meditation, you'll hear me say to you, to remind you, whenever your mind takes you away from your breath, just simply with, say, thinking, feeling, or tension. Or even if you hear a noise, you could just say noise. You wanna say that three times. So for example, as you're sitting and meditating and you hear a thought and, or it's a commentary. And so at that point, you wanna use a very soft tone. It's the tone that really matters. It's not so much the labeling, thinking, thinking, as opposed to thinking, thinking, do you notice the different tone? Yeah, it has to be soft and gentle. So just a quick reminder before we go in. All right, so wherever you are, sit up in a dignified yet comfortable position. And as you find your posture, it's okay to wiggle around. In this meditation, what I want you to do is find your posture and let it signify a sense of ease, comfort, yet alertness. And as you allow your mind to settle back into your body. And if you feel comfortable, if your eyes are not closed already, allow them to gently close. And once your eyes are closed, you'll notice that your mind does a lot of things. Now imagine the mind is a leaf and it's at a very tall, tall, tall tree. And this leaf, like the mind, is a big, big leaf. And as it breaks off from the branch, and as it sways back and forth, as it slowly descends onto the ground, and as it's swaying back and forth, it senses a sense of warmth through the sun rays. And when it finally settles on the soft green grass, let the mind completely settle now, as you can feel the grass with your feet. So gently moving your toes. On the next breath, releasing that attention and bring the full attention to what is cradling you right now. Notice the seat that supports you. Now notice where your hands are. What's the temperature?
And by now you'd have noticed that your body's breathing. So where do you feel the breath in the body? Do you notice it at the nose? And if you do, then make a soft mental note of in as you breathe in and out as you breathe out. In, out. If you notice the breath at the belly, then use these soft mental notes. Belly rising as you breathe in and belly falling as you breathe out. Belly rising and belly falling. Just focus on one of these areas, making those soft mental notes. There's nothing else for you to do except feel the flow and sensation of your breath. And sometimes when we meditate, the mind takes us away from the breath. And if it does happen, which it will, just use a soft label and tone. If your mind takes you away with a thought, simply label it as thinking, 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 and gently coming back to your breath. You can do the same for the feeling that shows up or the tension or noise. Simply begin again by reconnecting with your breath and using the soft mental notes. And as you continue to feel the flow and sensation of your breath, notice if you're carrying any tension around your face. And with the next breath, see if you can soften any muscles around your face and to release it with your outgoing breath. Just softening any tension with the out breath. And perhaps as you scan your body down from your neck, all the way down to your waist. Don't forget your arms and shoulders. Notice if you have any discomfort or tension, and if you do, soften it with your breath. Feel the flow and sensation of your breath. as we move down from your waist all the way down through your feet, see if there's any tension around your back, your belly, your hips, your pelvic area, your glutes, your thighs, your hamstrings, your knees, your calves, your shins, your feet. And just soften with your breath. Again, just coming back and falling the breath in and falling the breath all the way out. And if it's possible, gen wear a gentle smile to let the mind know we are here in this present moment, this beautiful moment, this peaceful moment. Again, if your mind wanders around, it's okay. Be soft and gentle 
Simply label what shows up as thinking, feeling, tension, or noise. And then come back to your breath. Feel the breath all the way in and all the way out. Now, what I'd like you to do is release your soft mental notes. And I just want you to watch your breath. Sometimes it's helpful to just place your hands on your belly and just watch the rise and fall of your breath. You're not trying to control it now or anything. You're just noticing the breath, being the observer feeling the sensation of something rising and something falling, rising and falling. Just watch your breath. Knowing when you're breathing in, knowing when you're breathing out. Feeling the breath. Just this breath in, just this breath out. Again, if your mind wanders, it's okay. Be simple and easy. Just label your thoughts, your feelings, the sensations, and then come back to your breath. Feeling the flow and sensation of your breath. And before we end this meditation, let us send some well wishes to our mind and body to ourselves, to repeat after me with these following phrases. May I be happy. May I be safe and loved. And may I live free of unnecessary suffering. May I be happy. May I be safe and loved. And may I live free of unnecessary suffering. One more time, may I be happy. May I be safe and loved. And may I live free of unnecessary suffering. Let's wish everyone here this morning and those not with us, our loved ones, our friends, strangers, and the Remedy Tribe, may we be happy. May we be safe and loved. And may we live free of unnecessary suffering. May we be happy. May we be safe and loved. And may we live free of unnecessary suffering. May we be happy. May we be safe and loved. And may we live free of unnecessary suffering. 
releasing your attention to those phrases, coming back to where you feel the breath in the body. Just connect with the flow and sensation of your breath. There's really nothing else for you to do. Feel the liveliness, the healing, the peace in this present moment. And before we end, feel your whole body breathe in this present moment. Every cell, every bone, every nerve, every part of you, mind, body, and spirit, in the sense of peace and healing. Feel the liveliness of this beautiful day, this beautiful moment. Taking a nice breath in, pausing at the top. And as you breathe out, gently opening your eyes and reacclimating to this present moment, the sense the meditation. Well, there you go. Yes, thank you so much. Good, thank you. And thank anyone and everyone here with us. So. Yeah, those were such uh, kind words at the end. I love wishing people well. It always makes me feel pretty warm inside. Yeah, it does. There's so much hate, there's so much fear. Um, if we can pick a soup can from the kitchen, from the kitchen or the pantry or the store, why can we not pick up some good soup for us ourselves? So soup is good. <laughs> and so, so is love and so is compassion, right? So that's what we're doing here. We're trying to send compassion to ourselves and, and we have so much abundance, so we're sharing it with everyone, so. Beautiful. While we wait for any questions to come in, uh, I had a question for you. When, when could someone use this throughout their day, this noting technique, mm -hmm. and especially maybe when a difficult moment or a flare up or a painful thought or memory shows up? That's a great question, Erin. Um, there are two ways to do it. Um, in the meditation circles, we talk about being on the cushion and off the cushion. And whatever we do in the cushion, Arun, and anyone here at Remedy, what I want you to know is this. When you're on the cushion, which is when your eyes are closed and you're meditating, this is the gym we're training. And um, we're training ourselves to become observers, not participants of our thoughts and our feelings and our emotions. So when we do labeling as we're sitting, we're doing reps with the biceps of noticing when we're being mindful like, wow, as opposed to getting caught up. So what we can do when we're off the cushion, as we would say in meditation, is when your eyes are open and you're typing away and sending an email, or when your dog barks, or your kids or your boss and your things coming through and it's activating you, you want to be able to, at that point, notice thinking, thinking, which means and if you can go further, if you want, judging, judging, because you're judging yourself. So you can simply use this, the same labeling to bring full awareness, not to get rid of the thought, feeling, or sensation, or the noise. It is simply to be awakened from the autopilot of the mind. And that is what I do throughout the day. So every time I notice a mood shift or tension shows up, I wonder what is dominating me. And so I tend to unhook from it so I can be back online and I can be the person I want to be as opposed to being irritated from the thought, from the feeling or the physical sensation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I like that last part around being the person that you want to be. Often these things kind of irritate us, get in our way. Mm -hmm. An hour later, we're still frustrated at some point. <laughs> I realize that. <laughs> that sounds and and I just want um and we're laughing about this her and I but on a serious note is it's okay Here, here's the cool thing even if it was an hour later like you know what I was really caught up in my head that's a magical moment that's called mindfulness if you notice it three seconds later that's still mindfulness we just don't need you to continue to evaluate yourself like oh, what an imposter am I no it's just that's a that's a mental trap thinking thinking or if you wanted to you could even say judging judging where you're catching yourself judging yourself or catching yourself judging others i often say this is and you know we do this frequently when we judge people um Arun, is it's like holding a blade and stabbing someone you're bound to cut yourself mm. so words and judgments and we we judge throughout the day some good some not good 
And as long as you're aware of what you're doing, and sometimes we're not, and that's okay because this is a lifelong practice and we're not looking to erase anything. We're looking to calm your nervous system down is what we're looking to do. So that way we have a better way of living. That's it. Yeah. As I was kind of stepping into that, you use the word observer. And just for anyone listening, um, Les has always said from the get-go when I met him that I'm not my thoughts, I'm not my emotions, I'm not my physical sensations. They're all kind of coming and going. And throughout the day, I, I still over-identify with them mm-hmm. over and over again. As much as I know this, um, and I was actually really feeling in that meditation that in the first couple minutes, I was struggling a bit to focus on the breath. Thoughts were coming very strongly. Yeah. And then in the medium few minutes, it was like, okay, I'm feeling kind of the sense of going a little bit deeper into my body and being able to nice. watch these like I was watching a, a movie almost. Yeah. And that's, I, I love your analogy right there. That's beautiful. Is it's, it's actually, if you can just put those thoughts up, it's a diffusion technique that we've taught people uh, in remedy about is being able to just get some distance, you know, when we're caught up in the heat of things, which is human. So what we want to do is, yep. Okay. So I'm over identifying as I like to say, oh, I'll tease car take about this is I'm sometimes drunk in my thoughts, drunk in my feelings, which means that we're not coming from a place of true self. We're coming from a place of uh, anger, fear, you know, resentment. So all those intensity. So I I like what you said. Um, I love that analogy, by the way. So if anyone listening, I like what Erin said, when you notice a thought, you can just put it in a movie screen. Um, That's kind of cool. By the way, I was watching us eating popcorn next to you with my movie screen. (laughs) (laughs) Doesn't the doctor say not to eat popcorn before 9 (laughs) a.m.? Right. So that's good. So I'm hoping people have questions if they don't, um, but how to meditate, or how do I do this, um, you know, in the heat of the moment, or anything else. Sometimes people have struggles in meditating. So, but regardless of whether they have questions or not, I'm hoping people will at least practice this on the cushion and off the cushion. And what we did here today was basically called labeling. Just label what shows up. And very often, uh, this morning before I woke up, I knew I was going to do this. And, and I usually have my regular meditation. I do my, I do my breath work in bed. And then I sit at the edge of the bed and I do my meditation. Yes, some of us might fall asleep even sometimes at the bed. And I wanted to do that to see how wake up, uh, awake I was. And as I was getting out of bed, my mind was rushing with lots of thoughts. And I started to laugh. And I almost heard an inner critic say, what are you laughing about? Mm. And we have, we have stuff to do. We have, we have to get online. We have to do this. And, and I said, oh, I'm, I took a little three-year-old or five-year-old. I basically put my hands on my chest. And I basically said, oh, okay, honey, I, sounds like you're anxious. We will get up now. Thank you for letting me know. And just rub my chest like a child. And then all those chatters, I was giggling because they were nothing but commentary. It's like, that's interesting. Is why is blue so many different colors? I'm like, where did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> so anyhow, the point here is it's just what the mind does. Don't take it personally. It's a great ending thought. Um, the great thing about this recording is that it will be on the Facebook group for those who couldn't make it, for those who did and want to practice again in the future. Yeah. Highly yeah. encourage, as you do and questions come up, put them in the comments. Yep. And we'll address them as they come up. We want to make sure that we're supporting you through your practice. And as Dr. Les yeah. always says, practice is the life changer of the nervous system. Yep. Do this today. Do it maybe twice today. Uh, do it tomorrow. Let us know how it's going. And uh, we'll give you feedback on anything that you need support or help with. Absolutely. Thanks. Arun and everyone else, have a great day. Thank you guys for meditating with us. It's always good to spread love, peace, and harmony, right? So, absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Have a good rest of your day. Have a good one, guys. Take care, everyone. <laughs>